up, we're here today at Hi4 and you've got a special offer on the Mydeco manual pallet uh, changing machine. Can you tell me a bit about this equipment? Yes, Joe. So what we've got here at the moment is we've got the Mydeco Series 30 manual pallet changer. Um, so it's ideal for customers with VMCs that want to inc um, increase their productivity. And will this piece of equipment fit on to any VMC or any type VMC? Oh, that's right, Joe. Yes, yeah, so it can go into any any brand of, of VMC, small to your large machines. And we see, I can see this pallet system behind me now, here, Rob. Now, why wouldn't you just use a zero point pallet system? The advantage of the pallet changer compared to the zero points um, would be the weight that you can get into the machine from the manual pallet changers. If you bear in mind, if you have multiple vices or tombstones on the pallet. Trying to pick that up, you won't be able to, so you'll have to then either get a crane or a forklift in, which then cuts down on your spindle time. And how do you install this piece of equipment? I can see that you've got the, the adjustable feet, and then is, is the, the pallet on the machine, is that, is that permanently based on the machine? That's right, yeah. So in the middle of the machine, um, we'll have the um, pneumatic pallet receiver, which stays on, on the machine bed, and then the, the manual system will sit in front of the machine, um, ready to be loaded into the... Um, onto the receiver. And what's the repeatability? It's two and a half microns. And how long does it take on average to, to change from one pallet to another? Uh, depending on your operator, you're probably looking between five and ten seconds. Obviously, the more you get used to pulling it in, the quicker you, you can be. But it also depends on the weight. Obviously, the heavier it is, the more it might take you to slide it in. But it's, it, you know, it's, it's quick. And the capacity on them pallets, what size do they come in? Um, depending on your machine that you've got, um, we can make the pallets to suit um, any machine. So we can do it from the small to, to your large. So effectively, you're changing your free axis machine into a, pallet ch a manual pallet changer machine, and this is going to keep that spindle turning and, and make you more productive? Co that's correct, yes. Yeah. So while the machine's working on one pallet, your operator can be outside getting the other pallet ready for when the machine stops. Then it can swap over. When the machine's running again, it can unload and then unload the next parts. Now, the pallets themselves are, are, are blank pallets. Would you, you incorporate dowel pins and, and, and location pins in there to, to mount whatever work holding you've got? Or do you do that yourself and make bespoke pallets? Um, we can do uh, The customer can do it himself or us self at High Four, we can manufacture the plates to what the, the customer required. If it was grid plates or just the basic plates with the zero points in, we can all do all that, yes. So just to round up, Rob, if I was an end user doing high, high volume work, medium volume work, and I had lots of different options of work holding to put onto my machine, why would I go for a system like this? Well, just for the added benefit of keeping your spindle turning, as you say. Um, and with the multiple parts you can get on your pallets, it's, it's the ideal um, way to increase your um, production and profitability. Thanks, Rob. And just to, to, to round up again, um, special offer. Can you tell me a little bit about this special offer? Uh, yeah, we've got it on special offer at the moment, um, ready to go in stock onto uh, any machine. Um, it includes the installation, delivery and uh, half a day's training. Um, and for more details, either drop me a call or have a look on high4.shop. Thanks, Rob.